Hi folks, Harry Frank from Red Giant here. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Quantum from Red Giant Universe. Quantum is an effect that you'll find under the Universe Glow category of your effects under Quantum right there. Quantum is mainly designed to be a text effect, and I've got it applied to some basic text here in Adobe Premiere. This is an effect that renders converging or projecting light rays. The very first control here is to tell Quantum where to look to process the image. Right now we're looking at the alpha channel of this text. Now, because this is white text, it really wouldn't change a whole lot if I set this to luminance, but I've got a couple other plugins stacked on here that I can turn on. So let's say I turn on Universe Luster, and this renders sort of a shiny bubble kind of effect. Now, because I have this set to lightness instead of alpha, the look will be quite different. In fact, I might need to turn down the overall threshold to take in more of the image. So that brings us to the threshold and softness. Threshold defines how much of the image is being processed by the glow. A lower threshold means we're sending more of the image into the glow. The threshold softness is a tolerance above and below the threshold setting. So this isn't a hard cutoff, but we have sort of a range between where this 150 value is. Threshold blur is an actual blurring of the source image. So if I turn that up, we'll end up with a blurring of the image. And this doesn't look so good with Universe Luster, but if I turn that off and we source this from the alpha, I think we'll start to see how that looks. Now, streak length by default, when it is a positive value, is a converging uh, light ray kind of look. If I set this back to zero, and I'll turn the streak length down below zero, and we'll see it flips around the other way and does projecting light rays. Boost light is just that. It's kind of a turbo boost slider on your overall glow effect. These glow sections really get into the heart of what quantum does. It has up to three different glow passes that you can turn on or off individually. Each of these glow passes are color mapped individually in terms of their highs, mids, and lows. So we take all these separate color maps and blend them together to make this rich light ray kind of look. You have individual lengths of each of these glows as well as an individual intensity. There's nothing stopping you from having some of these be negative and some of them be positive. The color mapping you can edit on your own and define your own custom values or you can click on this color map button and load a preset color map from the chooser. The shimmer section allows you to refine a fractal noise effect that is mixed in with the overall glimmer effect. It is a self-animating effect and you can adjust the animation speed here, its loop time, as well as the overall scale and complexity of the fractal noise. So a smaller fractal noise scale, like many fractal noise settings, actually means a larger fractal noise and a larger scale means a more detailed fractal noise. The complexity is the actual number of layers of fractal noise that are rendered. So higher number means much more complex, whereas a low number means very few layers of fractal noise mixed together. There is an overall post glow added to the entire image after it's done rendering. So this is just a soft diffuse glow. If I turn up this mix, we'll see that we're just adding sort of a soft diffuse glow. Now, there's also another glow called the inner glow, and we're not really gonna see it on a uh, stroked image like this. So I'm gonna go to my type settings and I'll turn on the fill and I'll set this to a bit of a darker color to make this easier to see. Okay, so back to my quantum controls here. We're talking about the inner glow, so if I turn up the radius of this so you can see that it's almost like an internal light wrap that is being added to the text and we can adjust its color right here. We'll click on reset here and the mask section is exactly what you would expect of a mask section. If I check this, only a certain part of the image will be processed. I can adjust the overall width and height of the mask. I can show the masked area. I can adjust the mask position. and I can even invert the mask. The blend mode here in the plugin refers to the blend mode of the effect and the original source footage. So I can have the source footage blend with the glow using any of these standard blend modes. 
So that, in short, is Quantum from Red Giant Universe. It's a pretty straightforward effect. I hope you enjoy it. My name is Harry Frank. Thanks for watching.